Okay, uh, this is a really um, short warm-up exercise. Um, how useful are warm-up exercises? Arguably not useful at all. Maybe you should just learn a passage from a, a difficult song, maybe if you want to work on your technique. However, when you're starting and you're trying to control your fingers, warm-ups um, can be useful. So the old favourite, one, two, three, four, down, up, down, up. Unless you like to play like John Petrucci. <laughs> Those are kind of, they've got limited um, use, I think. So I wouldn't spend all my time playing those sort of exercises and think I'm going to be an amazing guitar player by getting good at these. However, uh, a good exercise that I was shown from um, one of the tutors when I was at college a long time ago is moving your fingers up one at a time. So you put all four fingers on. Move one finger up, move the next finger up, and if you can see, I'm not releasing these other fingers until... And what's that trying to show you? It's trying to show you individual control. Now you'll feel the biggest problem with your third finger, because um, your third finger and your fourth finger are kind of connected there. And again, as I said before, watch your finger pressure. Don't try and play it too fast. And then, uh, one thing I used to do was um, start making it a bit more difficult. So you'd skip over a string. Now, it's not something you should spend hours and hours practicing, but um, try it and it might just show up some weaknesses in your hand. Tap your foot maybe as well. It's always good to play in rhythm. Um, and the Pump and Nylon book, Scott Tennant, classical guitar book as well. I'm sure um, it's been a long time since I've looked at it, but he would do it with finger pairs moving. Hold our fingers down and then move the finger pairs around. I'm not sure how much use that is personally. Um, but again, it might be worth trying just to um, show up any deficiencies in your technique. Okay.